What's up, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to use Python to turn an MP3 file into a text like this in under 25 lines of code. We're going to be following this blog, so let's get right into it. All right. <clears throat> so you'll need an Assembly AI API key which you can get by going to assemblyai.com and checking it out, signing up in the upper right hand corner. You'll need an mp3 file and Jupyter Notebook. So uh, to install Jupyter Notebook, you can pip install Notebook or through VS Code and then you can open it up with Jupyter Notebook. And um, before we get started, I want to just point out there's going to be an auth key line that I'm going to skip because I have already imported my auth key. So let's get started. We're going to import requests. We're going to be sending HTTP requests. Um, <clears throat> so then we'll make a headers, which will be ah, the authorization. We'll need an authorization. Uh, and this will be the auth key that we um, got from assembly AI. And then we'll need the content type, which will, oops, which will be uh, application slash JSON. Um, and then we'll create a generator function that will um, yield uh, the bytes of our mp3 file. So with open file name, read as bytes, uh, while true, data is going to be equal to file.read and we're going to give it a pretty big chunk size because we're reading an audio file. Uh, if not, data break, break. And then we're going to yield our data in each while loop. All right. Now we're going to send a request to assembly AI's upload endpoint. So their upload endpoint is an endpoint which you can upload an MP3 file to, and it will uh, temporarily host it for you. And so we'll be doing this to upload an MP3 file and then send that link as the audio URL to the transcription request. All right, so this upload request, uh, upload response, we're gonna send a post request to https colon slash slash api.assemblyai.com slash v2 slash upload. Uh, headers is gonna equal our headers and then the data is gonna equal read file and this is where you need the mp3 file. So this is my mp3 file. All right, now let's look at our upload response. Cool, so this tells us where our file was uploaded. Now we're going to um, make that transcript request, as I was saying, oh, oops, I forgot the equal. Well, I should have just kept that, but uh, whatever. Um, so audio URL, and that's gonna be this, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this transcript request um, to a transcript endpoint. And we're gonna send a post request and this is the uh, endpoint um, for assembly AI's API that you send uh, the audio file to so that you can get a transcription of it. Uh, headers JSON equals transcript request. Right. Now let's take a look at our response. Cool. So, you know, you can see in our response, we got the ID. So we're going to need this. We're going to need this in a moment. Um, the language model, 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 acoustic model, uh, we can see that it's queued and then um, text and words. So this is what we're going to be looking at later. We're going to get the text and then the words is going to show us the um, confidence score of each word and when it was said. So let's copy this ID because we're about to send a get request to the transcript endpoint of that ID so that we can get this JSON response back again. So polling response is equal to um, requests.get https um, com slash v2 slash transcript slash there we go. And we'll need to send the headers and we'll take a look at, ooh, this is taking a while to send. Okay, so, okay there we go. 
polling response dot json and we'll see what it looks like and okay so we're already done um we're already done transcribing uh usually you can expect about 30 percent of the length of your uh mp3 um, so this was pretty quick because our mp3 file was like five minutes i think um so yeah you can see the text and then the words right the text the confidence of it and um when it was when it was when it was said basically so yeah if you like that uh like and subscribe and i'll see you later